Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank you for being here today, especially those who have made the trip from our far-flung Roots of Hope communities. Who would have thought 10 years ago we would attract 100 people to have a conversation about suicide prevention today? Show of hands. Is there anybody? So again, thank you for being here and being a part of this. Why did you come to this conference about suicide prevention? Uh, because where I come from we have a lot of suicide and we are trying a lot of different things but we need more help so we came here for ideas to see what we can try to do. Currently in Buffalo Narrows and that north northwest area we're actually experiencing a mental health crisis in regards to suicide, individuals hurting themselves and um, our, what we're supposed to do for the best action plan for our mental health staff to get the most results out of it. So I came to get new ideas on that. It's a big uh, issue within Indigenous communities, uh, the Inuit, First Nations and Métis communities. We have a higher rate of suicide and that's tied to colonization. So I am here today too as well as uh, just to learn um, what different strategies they use to also uh, reach that target audience. Alors la raison pourquoi quand on est ici, c'est pour essayer d'aider à trouver des solutions, trouver des façons qui vont diminuer l'impact et alléger la souffrance que peuvent vivre euh, euh, des connaissances, une famille ou des gens qui sont affligés par, par le suicide ou par la difficulté que certaines personnes peuvent éprouver à vivre. And what have you learned so far? It's been very surprising to me that we have the same problems throughout all the different areas of Canada. So even though it's not a good thing, it will help us come together and, and get better ideas. And it amazes me every time how much we have in common and yet how different we all are. It's a big country and we're all uh, addressing suicide prevention together, um, but in different ways, uh, but, we're all, but all with the same principle in mind, right, to support people who are vulnerable around us. What are your hopes for the future for suicide prevention? That you erase the stigma, first of all, and there's a greater understanding on the importance of mental health. I hope that people can understand that it's not just mental health, that there's a lot of reasons that we have suicide. And it's a community problem, it's not a health system problem. So in the future I hope suicide prevention is talked about easily and more as if we all have a part in it. Right now we're in a culture that looks at suicide with such negative or dark eyes. And I think moving forward, if we can look at it and start the discussion earlier, we can create more of a mindset where we're all thinking about it in a different light as opposed to such a dark light. So then I think that'll be the first steps forward in progression of making sure that we're addressing suicide with the proper lens. My big hope is that we bring the sector together uh, and that's what this project really does um, at a micro level um, but it's growing and my hope is that it continues to grow so that we have more stakeholders and we have more coordination and more collaboration. Through a project like the Roots of Hope we can actually work together with people who we wouldn't otherwise meet because they're physically far away but it gives us an opportunity to be able to build those bridges.